In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my capsule wardrobe accessories. I have a pretty minimal approach when it comes to accessories. I like to think that less is more. And since I do have a minimal and casual wardrobe, I feel like the absence of accessories speaks louder than if they were there. It makes the whole vibe feel much more effortless when there's not a lot of different details going on, and I really love that. Everything that I do have was really thought out before I bought it. Since there's not a lot of items to choose from, I like to make sure that they can each make a really impactful statement when I do wear them. So I'm gonna jump right in and start with my purses first. And the first one I have here is this leather tote from Madewell. I got it a few years ago for Christmas and it's a really nice classic tote. I feel like it'll never go out of style and that's the kind of accessories that I like to buy for my wardrobe, something that can just work alongside of my clothes and kind of never really dates the outfit. <laughs> but this bag is really nice, it just has like a nice big opening inside here with a little pocket with a zipper. Another thing that I love about this tote is that it comes with this strap so you can also make it a crossbody bag and that's really great. The reason why I added this to my wardrobe is because I wanted another bag that could act like a diaper bag since I have four kids and when they were really little I needed like a nice big bag to hold all the diapers and stuff and I would kind of alternate between the backpack that I'm going to show you guys and this leather tote. And now that my kids are growing up it's just going to be a really nice bag just to wear whenever. Next up I have this backpack. I bought it many years ago to use as a diaper bag. I've probably had it for over eight years now. It's not leather because I wasn't sure if I was gonna like the style, so I didn't really want to invest into that. Even though my husband kept telling me only buy leather bags, he's very particular about shoes and bags being leather, and I love that about him actually. But I did end up using this all the time for the last eight years, and it has worn out a little bit, but not too bad. The only thing that really has worn out is this clasp on the side, but I do think that I'm ready to move on and upgrade to a new style soon because all these zippers and golden details are a little bit too much for my minimal style, but I do still want to have a backpack in my wardrobe, so I think I'm going to look for a more minimal looking backpack and upgrade it in the next year or so. Next up I have this circle bag that I bought about five years ago and I was just rebuilding my wardrobe. I felt very minimal and abstract and I really wanted to add that vibe to my closet. I got it from J. Crew, and I think it's not leather but it has held up pretty well and I still really love this kind of minimal and abstract vibe that it gives my outfits. Even five years ago I was on the right track. And this purse, of course, I wear if I just go out without my kids and I'll just need my wallet in here. And it's just a nice, like, easy bag to throw on and go. And my most recent bag addition is this kind of half moon bag. I got it for Christmas last year. I requested it. And again, I really love that minimal kind of abstract style that it has. I think it gives a really big impact to my wardrobe because it's a style that's kind of unique. And again, that's kind of the vibe that I try to go with with all my accessories, kind of having like a more minimal and abstract look that can make my more simple outfits look more interesting. And this bag just has one small section inside with a few pockets, but again, when I'm just running errands without my kids, I just throw in my wallet and my phone and I'm good to go. Oh, and a chapstick. I always have a chapstick in every bag. I'm actually gonna put some on right now. I have chronic dry lips. Okay, moving on. The next item I have is this wallet. I finally upgraded my wallet this year after having the same wallet for 10 years. And it finally fell apart on me, so I was looking to buy a leather wallet. And then I actually found this at Goodwill, which was really great. I think I got it for like $8 and it is leather and it just has like so much space and it has like this pocket for cash and a little zipper for coins. And yeah, just like a really nice perfect find. I'm really happy with it. So next up I want to talk about my hats. I don't have a lot of hats again, but I do have this one that I bought the summer when we were going on vacation. I just wanted a straw hat that was very like minimal but very classic and I really love this one. I just got this at TJ Maxx but um, my husband says that this is a really good brand that makes good quality hats so again <laughs> that was a great thing to find. And yeah I think it just looks really 
classic and just like sweet for summer but still very minimal because it doesn't have too much details so next I want to talk about beanies bought these at Costco and my husband and I actually share we have quite a few of these maybe like five or six and we wear them a lot I wear them when I go on walks with my kids and in the winter I wear them even around the house a lot because I tend to get pretty cold we've been buying these for a few years from Costco they're 50% wool they're just like really warm and yeah they're just nice and cozy Next, I just have a pair of winter gloves. I usually just wear them when we go to the snow or when it snows here or for like a really cold winter walk. For the most part, I am home a lot and then if I'm going out, I'm just driving from my car to the store so I don't get that cold um, and we keep our car in the garage. So yeah, the perks of suburbia. <laughs> The next thing that I have is this belt. I bought this very, very long ago before I was married, over 10 years ago at a thrift store. It's leather, but I don't actually wear belts. I kind of like how outfits look without belts because again, it gives it that like effortless casual look where you're not trying too hard. So I usually don't wear a belt, but I just kind of hang on to this guy because Maybe one day I'll want to wear it and it's just going to be waiting for me in my closet. The next thing that I have is a pair of sunglasses. I usually just wear sunglasses in the car when I'm driving. I don't actually take care of my sunglasses very well. That's something that I want to change. So I didn't want to buy like a really nice pair that I was going to scratch up. So I just got this one at Target, but I like the style of it. I feel like it fits my face nicely. How do people do this like this? It's just a nice simple pair of glasses that I think looks nice on me. As I'm sharing all of this, it just sounds so funny to me because I feel like I'm such a simple, casual person. <laughs> just like your sister or your friend that you have in your life. And I'm thinking, why do people care that I have a pair of sunglasses? But um, I hope this is relatable to you guys that like, you know, it's possible to just build a simple wardrobe that just has like accessories that you can find anywhere that are simple but it can still be pulled together and feel like a nice cohesive wardrobe that works that's kind of the whole point of my channel and that's kind of the whole vibe that i try to have and i hope that that comes across to you guys okay so moving on to jewelry this is actually a place where i am not very minimal at that's because i really love the look of having multiple piercings um i have two in each ear but i want to get more at some point and i just love the look of like having lots of little minimal studs and hoops in your ear i think that goes super well with like a minimal wardrobe and again kind of like with my purses that look a little bit more modern i really love combining like a very simple outfit with like a little bit of some edgy modern earrings. I think it goes so well together. And I've been just slowly building my collection over the years. I used to only buy earrings from like Target or whatever best fashion store I would be at. But over the last few years, I've been slowly trying to buy better quality ones. Now I still am not really able to afford any kind of solid gold jewelry that's on my wish list for the future. You know, I'd love to slowly collect those, but for now I've upgraded to buying gold vermeil. So this is what I have so far. Um, there's just a nice collection of a little bit of hoops and studs. And yeah, they just make me happy to look at them and to wear them. And then of course I also have my wedding ring. I really love how minimal it is. Of course my husband picked it out when he asked me to marry him over 10 years ago and he knew me even then. He knew that I liked a minimal style, I guess. And I'm really happy that he picked this one because it just goes really well with my personality and my outfits. And then I have this necklace that was given to me as a gift for my birthday from my sister-in-law. It's really special to me because it has this mama stamp of this mom and her baby. And on the back it has the initials of my kids. And that's just so special to me. Well, my kids love to look at that and my son will always be like, oh, that's me and you. <laughs> and I think that's so sweet. I'm always like, yeah, that's us. But uh, the chain actually got ripped off my neck by one of them last year. So I ordered this little flower with this gold chain and now we just wear them together. I think it's like a nice stacked look. I think it's very unique. And I also have a few necklaces that are a little bit more special. One is one that my husband gave me on our wedding day and came with these earrings um, and I just kind of saved those for now 
I wear them very rarely for like super special occasions. But yeah, that's probably something that I'll just hang on to and pass it on to my children. And then I also have this pearl necklace that my husband got me for my birthday. It's just really beautiful and classic. So these are all the accessories that I have right now, but I do have some items on my wish list to add in the future. Again, I'm never in a rush to add anything because I look at my wardrobe kind of as what I would like it to be in like a 5-10 year period. And I just slowly work towards that over the years. But on my wish list, I have just to upgrade that backpack to get another leather backpack that looks more minimal. Probably I'm looking for one that's black again because I feel like that will just go with any outfit. And that's just a really nice color to stick with for a backpack. But I also want to add a purse that is in a more lighter kind of a tan color because my two brown purses, they're like a very rich brown. I feel like I want just a lighter version that feels more light for like maybe summertime. <laughs> So yeah, I'm looking for just something more lighter and kind of in a minimal style and probably something that can still be like a crossbody so that I can wear it with no hands. And then also on my wish list, I just have to add more earrings, more little dainty studs and hoops and probably to add more piercings in the next few years. Not sure when. I'm gonna do that, but that's just something that I see I want to add to my style. As always, I really appreciate you guys watching and commenting on my videos, and if you want more, you can go ahead and watch this video next, and I'll see you guys over there. Bye!